Okay, uh, we have the simulator right here and we're gonna change the position of an image. Uh, we're just gonna add another image right here, which is gonna be the world. And I'm just gonna uncomment this line of code, local button. It's gonna be a button, but uh, I'm just renaming this. And then display, new image, button, uh, world, that's it. So it's a simple image, that's it. So once I have that image noted that it's way over there on the top. So it's big and it's on the top. So if I wanna move that, uh, if you've been watching the other video that you can see the text, that object, that X and that Y, if you change this, we'll change the image and we can just try it really quick. Watch, control copy. I'm just gonna save that and then change this for button. Button and change this for button. There. So if I click save, then it's going to be in another place. So if I go instead of 160, I go to maybe 10, 12, and instead of 75 on the Y, remember the Y is going this way, I'm gonna go to 300, so then it's gonna go down. There you go, you see? So now we're changing it to this, but I will show you another way that you can do that. We have these two lines of code right here. Delete and delete. There. So I'm just gonna get those two and put it right there and delete this because we don't need it. There we go. So now we have button, the name of the variable, and that X and that Y. So now this is going to display content width. It's going to display the width, whatever the content on that image is going to display it by two. What that means? Well, this means that it's going to go to the center. Like pretty much the way I understand it is that it's going to divide, divide the image, the view, all this iPhone or the iPad, the, the view that you have on your device is going to divide that by the middle, by the center, divided by two or in two parts. So that will make this image going to the center. And this is pretty much uh, the distance is measured from the center of the image, from the center, not from the corners. So this divide the image, the view by half, and then put the image in the center. So this is pretty much divided by two. And then the Y is going to be display the Y. This button is equal to the content height. When you display that content height, minus 200. The minus 200 is gonna place this lower. So if I save that and run the app, then it will give me the center where I want the image. Now, if you, instead of 200, watch, I'm gonna put 300, that's what's gonna happen. You see, it's making it up because remember, it's from the center, from this point right here, all the way to here. It's not from this area. It's from the center all the way here. So if the iPhone is like 480 all the way to there, so 300 will be somewhere in there. So if I go here, instead of 200, I put 100, and it will go down. So for this app, I decided to put it at 200. I think that looks nice, but you can put it you know, one, 187, 187, and it will move it just a little bit, okay? So you can play this. Now, this other number, watch, it's by half. So if you put three, it will divide the image that they view like in three parts. Watch what happened. See, and now it's making it more to the left because it's dividing it by three. So two, it's always gonna be like 50%, like in the middle of the center of the image. So that's why this will make the button or the image appear right there. So there's another way that you can move images using this display content width or with just the dot X and dot Y position. Uh, I really don't know that much to tell you which one of those two would be better, but I guess you can try both of them and both of them work. So I just use one for this and one for the other so you know different ways of doing uh, the same thing, okay? So now let's go to the next video.